What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. Episode 7 of Aim to be a Pokemon Master aired earlier today in Japan and so of course today will be my recap and review. And we'll see how long my voice lasts in this video because it's still a little iffy. But if you're new here make sure that you subscribe because it helps you girl out and give this video a thumbs up so that we can push it out into the YouTube algorithm so that more Pokemon fans can see it. And if you would like another way to support the channel please feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. Plus look at how cute these little no use sweatshirts are. But let's go ahead and hop into episode 7 of Aim to be a Pokemon Master. Bye. Bye. We open up this episode with Ash, Brock, Misty, and Pikachu hanging out by the ocean, watching a couple of Whalmers bounce up and down. When all of a sudden, we see a Lapras come bounding through the water, crying in despair. As the Lapras gets closer to the gang, they realize that this is actually Ash's Lapras from the Orange Islands. And they all have a nice little reunion and ask Lapras why it's so upset. Lapras then asks the gang to hop on her back and she leads them to this little island in the middle of the ocean, where they find out that a different Whalmer had bounced too high and managed to get itself stuck in a hole. So while the gang is assessing the situation, we also see that Team Rocket is watching from their Magikarp submarine. But Ash comes up with the bright idea of trying to use his Pokemon to get Whalmer out of the hole. And this episode is actually really cool because we actually saw a ton of Ash's old Pokemon. The first two were Surfetched and Kingler, who attempt to pull the Whalmer out themselves. And of course, Pikachu tries to help too, but to no avail, and they all go flying in separate directions after Pikachu tries to iron tail the Whalmer out of the hole, which I don't know why Ash thought that was a good idea, but sure, good job, buddy. But it turns out that the iron tail didn't work in cracking the ground since I assume that's what they were trying to do because the ground is just too hard. So they're not going to be able to break Whalmer out of the hole. They're going to have to pull him out of the hole. So after everyone gets back onto the island, which Ash literally got stuck in a cave and had to get taken out of the cave by Heracross, so there's yet another Pokemon that they reintroduced, the gang then teams up to try to pull Whalmer out of the hole with Misty pulling out her fishing rod and Ash pulling out his fishing rod and enlisting the help of yet another Pokemon, Bayleaf, which Bayleaf was one of my favorite favorite Johto Pokemon because it's so cute and it's still just as obsessed with Ash as it was back in the good old days. But Heracross latches onto Ash to help him pull the fishing line and Bayleaf latches onto Misty to help her pull the fishing line. Kingler and Surfetch also join in to help as well with Surfetch trying to wedge Whalmer out of the hole, Kingler helping Ash and Heracross pull, and Brock actually sends out Marsh Stomp as well to help Misty and Bayleaf pull. And with the help of all the gang, they actually manage to get the Whalmer out of the hole. And it's so overjoyed that it starts bouncing up and down once again. Again. Meanwhile, this entire time, Latios is straight creeping in her camo, watching the entire thing go down. We see her pretty early on in this episode, actually, so she's getting a little more bold. But while Wilmer is bouncing up and down overjoyed, while Latios is literally just staring at him like, bro, what are you doing? You literally just got unstuck. You're gonna get stuck again, which he does. He bounces into the cave that Ash got stuck in earlier and evolves into a whale lord and gets even more stuck. So now he's even worse off because now he's like four times as big and stuck in a hole once again. But so now the gang, including Latios, is looking at this giant whale lord stuck in a hole and they're like, how are we supposed to get you out of this one, buddy? But Pikachu actually notices Team Rocket's submarine and actually goes over to their submarine and bullies them into helping them get the whale lord out of the hole. Like I'm talking like he goes into the actual submarine and threatens to thunderbolt them if they don't help. We love Pikachu for that. So now with Team Rocket, in addition to a couple more Pokemon, including Gyarados and Torterra, they all begin to start trying to pull the Whale Lord out of the hole once again, with Ash, Heracross, and Bayleaf actually jumping into the cave to go and tickle Whale Lord so that he gets all squirmy and kind of wriggles himself out of the hole a little to make pulling him out easier. And after a bit, the plan actually works and they manage to get the Whale Lord out of the hole once again. But now Bayleaf, Heracross, and Ash are actually stuck in the cave with no way out. So Ash returns Bayleaf to its Pokeball while Heracross is holding Ash in the air so that he doesn't get stuck in the water that is now trapped in the cave. The gang realizes that Ash, Heracross, and Bayleaf are stuck in the cave, and Lapras actually has the smart idea to freeze the water so they have a walkway, but they still don't know what part of the cave they're stuck in, since there seems to be a fork in the cave. So Whale Lord actually helps to melt part of the ice and kind of create a tunnel so that Lapras can slide through the tunnel to find Ash, Heracross, and Bayleaf, which she eventually does and helps them to return to the outside of the cave. Ash thanks Whale Lord and Lapras for getting him out of the cave, and as Whale Lord is celebrating, we see Lapras flying away as she's done observing the situation for the time being. We then cut back over to later that day back 
at the beach where they first met up with Lapras, and we see Ash giving Lapras a hug as we see Lapras's family appear to take her back to the ocean. And so it's time for Ash and Lapras to say goodbye, so Ash sadly does not keep Lapras with him for the rest of the journey. She does go back with her family. And that is actually how the episode ends. However, there was a special preview for the new anime after the conclusion of today's episode, and it was definitely interesting. Since we were introduced to a new character named Freed and his Pikachu, Captain Pikachu. So at least they're still going to be keeping Pikachu as part of the series, even if he's not the main character, which I love. We also find out that Freed is actually a professor, a battling professor at that, which makes me think that he's probably like the battling professor in the actual Scarlet and Violet games that like runs classes at the academy. So hopefully that means we are going to be spending a good amount of time in Paldea. But he's said to be very proficient in battling with his partner, Captain Pikachu, which is about all the information that we actually got on him. But at least we have the introduction of two new characters, which makes things a little bit more exciting. So my final thoughts on this episode are, I actually really like this episode. As like pointless as this episode kind of seemed, number one, I love that we saw so many of Ash's Pokemon. Like this is like the most Pokemon that we've seen out of all of the episodes so far, I'm pretty sure. Because we got Heracross, Bayleaf, Kingler, Torterra, Surfetched, and of course Pikachu. That's a lot of Pokemon. Did I miss any? I don't know, but there was a lot, clearly. So I love that we saw so many of his old Pokemon. Oh, and Lapras, there we go. See, I did forget one. So that was definitely a huge plus for me. I also like that they are making Latias a little bit more bold in each episode, since before we would just see her at the very end, kind of watching from super far away, but now she's like right up in the middle of the action, really watching the situation up close. She's still camouflage, but she's hanging around for longer and she's getting closer and closer, which means she's obviously starting to trust Ash more and more each episode. I also really liked that Pikachu quite literally bullied Team Rocket into helping Ash, Brock, and Misty get the Whale Lord out of the hole. I mean, talk about a power move. And I always loved when Team Rocket would team up with Ash, Brock, and Misty because they're obviously not bad people. They just got tangled up in Team Rocket's shenanigans. So I always liked seeing them work together because we all know deep down inside, Team Rocket likes them. But I personally don't really have anything negative to say. I mean, was it like a fillery type episode? Episode, yes, but I really enjoyed watching it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10. Which is that controversial? Maybe. But like I've been saying for the past few episodes, they're clearly not using these episodes to like show how strong of a trainer Ash is. They're obviously leading up to the fact that he's already a Pokemon master because of his character. But I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the latest episode and the series as a whole down below in the comments. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this recap and review. And thank you so much to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.